I want to readdress the David O issue versus Mobad. A woman at that TV interviewed another woman who accused David O of collecting Mobad's kidney. I already said that story is entirely lies. I do not believe it, that it was a completely a complete joke to me. And I even went ahead to even advise David O to go further sue the presenter who interviewed that woman so that she can present, show the face of that woman who accused David O for proper suing. Then I saw how a lot of people came for me. Why are you doing this? Why are you giving it help? Charman. I'm, 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 I open a YouTube to react to incidents, to react to things. You will not tell me what and what I should react on. I know my rights. You can't tell me what I should react on. I am not the direct source of any information, of that information. I'm not the direct source. This source, the information was already online. I am only, already I, I, I am only reacting the same way that you are reacting to it. So when you channel your energy, channel your hate towards the source you are not channel, you, 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 you are not supposed to channel it to, you are deceiving yourself. You know why? Because that is Nigeria issue. That is our issue we always face. You have a local government chairman who is stealing your money. You have not talked to that local government chairman to stop stealing your money. You will be calling President Mohamed Buhari. You will be calling Tunubu as far as that hope. Meanwhile, your local government chairman is standing in front of you who is stealing your money. Who, who doesn't want to do that boy for you? But you are calling on President Mohamed Buhari. You know, because of this uh, twisted mind. But again, I want to appreciate those of you who are critical thinkers, who really sat down to think about the whole issue and gave your honest opinion. You know, people will just see something, they don't think critically, they don't think to know the source and everything and how someone is reacting to it and give your own honest review. People do not have that sense of thinking. You know? Don't you know in this world, it is uh, according to scientists, eh? 20 percent, only 20 or less than 20 percent of human population that have that ability to think. Yeah, honestly, I'm not insulting anybody, but it's true. You will see some comments and you start wondering is this person really crazy or what? Because this is a reaction video reacting to it. To what are to what someone said, and then you are blaming it on me for saying it. <laughs> Is there sense in that? Even lawyers say, if you they see the video, they say, uh uh, uh uh. The way even critical lawyers not going even think, even come aside. They go to the source who posted it on the internet. As long as any news is posted for public consumption. Public consumption. Public is already there publicly. Everybody have every right to speak on that particular uh, news. You have the right to speak about it. As long as you are not the direct source of that news. You are not the first person to post it online. On the... I am not the direct source. Why are you putting the blame on me? But that being said, like I've said before, all those things are completely nonsense of that woman. And me, I'm able to encourage David Doe. If not me be David Doe, honestly, not everything I will even react to. That is too childish. That is too funny for me to even react to it. Because I already know David Doe wasn't in town when the whole issue happened. Wasn't even there. David Doe made an honest mistake sending money to Mobile's father. Honest mistake because he just wanted to help. Honest mistake. I bet you David Doe was even regretting it after he sent that to millionaire. Because that money was used to hurry where try to um try to uh, organize Mobile's barrier. So let's forget about that. Let's talk about David Doe and Chris Brown. Honestly speaking, I've already said it before. I like the way David Doe is capitalizing and romancing his relationship with Chris Brown. So far, so good. That relationship between David Doe and Chris Brown 
has given him more than three million US dollars. And he will confess this on stage. More than three million US dollars. I see many it's not as if it's romance, you know, like he's doing it as follow power for the follow. You can see there's a mutual respect for Chris Brown. He know that uh David Doan a very big artist, one of the biggest artists in Afrobeat. So that mutual respect is there. They performed recently in Dubai. Recently in Dubai, David, uh, Chris Brown brought out uh, David Doan. Before then, David uh, Chris Brown supported David Doan while he was performing somewhere. Chris Brown supported David Doe, went there. That was when David Doe gave a shout out to Chris Brown, told Chris Brown, thank you very much for assisting me, for doing this for me, for making me make 30 million US dollars from just knowing you, from our relationship. So, that being said, I want uh, Chris, uh, David Doe to still continue, you know, because we want exposure for Afrobeat. That's what we want. Exposure for Afrobeat. And uh, and as long as there's exposure for Afrobeat, there will still be uh, exposure for our entertainers, other entertaining industry like the movie, the movie Hollywood, there will be exposure to, to, to them as well. Like the content creators, the funny people, the comedians, there will be exposure to them as well. And also us as well. When we talk about um, reacting, reacting some things, there will also be exposure from all as well. And let it be known that if a US person, uh, if someone in US view your video on YouTube or on Facebook, there is more money than a person in Nigeria viewing your viewing your video. There's more money. So we want American people to view our video. We want the Canadian all those people to make to view our video the most. So anything that we improve the culture I know the benefit will always trickle down to us as well. So I will, I'm ever always trying to encourage that. Well, well, might be encouraged and well. Well, Udumodo Black actually puppy your performing recently. And a fan, you know, this fan said they need to be extremely careful. The fan came on stage, dragged the air of Charlie Puppy. Or trying to walk Charlie Poppy. Man, if you see the flying kick, Udumo do take home, man. If to say that kick connects to that guy head, that guy head will pull off. Thank God Udumo do black fell. If to say that flying kick connects to that guy head, that guy head will fall off. Who cannot come on stage? You see, I beg, eh? We know say people they benefit our Nigerians they benefit her before, but now I bet we need to stop. You cannot an artist cannot be performing. Everybody paid for this artist to perform. Everybody paid though, including yourself. The artist they perform and you just decide to climb that stage to go out the artist. Who gives you the right? If you will check now from back back, now you for find your way come down front. You didn't even pay the front uh, uh, ticket. Who gives you the right? Don't you know if you climb on that stage, you are again not allowing other people paid to benefit from their money? You are depriving them of their enjoyment. And such person should be dealt with. I don't pity all those people who they come on stage that they blast to the beetle. I don't pity you. <laughs> if not me, if uh, the bouncer uh, will lie, uh, kuboku. The guy you go backstage, uh, back you up, uh, use Kubuku, flog your head so that sense go enter inside. Sense go enter inside. You are serious. You are very, 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 very unserious. Very, very unserious, guys. You are very, very unserious. So the moment with that flying kick, it will say connect well. <laughs> now your head for cut off. Hmm? Kudumodo was not having that hinge. For a show, you call the four models uh, <laughs> rubbish. He was trying, he was there to only like the way he came with that flying kick. I knew that, uh, you know, Charlie Poppy say he like Kudumodo pass a girlfriend. So I was know that, yes, yeah, there's real brotherly love. You cannot try Charlie Poppy while Kudumodo is looking at you. He will come out your head with flying kick. I like the way he defended the uh, Charlie Poppy. Because you're the whole office. Who be you? Those are the whole people. Who be you? 
who be you? Hmm? When you want to deprive other people from enjoying their show. Please, if you are planning on doing it next time, eh, guy man, eh, get shame now. Huh? Relax, chill for your house, not even come to the show. Chill for your house, no come to the show.